Hello everyone, in this tutorial I would like to present you two different ways to solve this particular sodic equation. The square root of 39 minus x plus the square root of 7 minus x equal to 8. So I will be a little bit faster. Uh, I would like to call this one u and call this one v. So the first method is by substitution. So we have u plus v equal to 8, right? And what will be u squared minus v squared? u squared minus v squared will be this squared minus this squared, right? And if you square that, the square root will cancel. So we have 39 minus x, then minus 7 minus x. And if you open the bracket, the minus will affect every single term. So you can see that this is going to be 39 minus 7, which is 32, 32, minus x plus x is 0. So all we have is u squared minus v squared equal to 32. But you should know that u squared minus v squared is difference of two squares, which is the same thing as u plus v multiplied by u minus v, right? It's still equal to 32. But we have seen that u plus v is equal to 8. So this is 8 multiplied by u minus v equals 32. If you divide both sides by 8, you have u minus v equals 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4. Now we have two equations to solve simultaneously. The first one is u plus v equals 8 and the second one is u minus v equals 4. Now let us add these two equations together. If you add, you have 2u v minus v is 0, this is equal to 12, and if you divide both sides by 2, you have u to be equal to 6, right? So u is equal to 6. And if u is equal to 6, you can see that v must be equal to 2. Why? Because u plus v is equal to 8. And uh, since this is 6, this must be 2, right? All right, so another thing we're going to do is back substitution. Remember, the square root of 39 minus x is equal to u and square root of 7 minus x is equal to v. So in either case, we are going to get the same value of x. Uh, but u is equal to 6. So we can square both sides, right? 39 minus x, if you square both sides, this is going to give us u squared. But u squared is what? 6 squared, which is 36. So this is 39 minus x equal to 36. If you make x the subject, x will be equal to 39 minus 36, which is equal to 3. It means that the value of x is equal to 3. Uh, what about the other one? We're still going to get 3 here. If you square both sides, you have a, a 7 minus x equal to v squared, which is 2 squared equal to 4. And x will be equal to 7 minus 4 and x equal to 3. So in other case, we have uh, x being equal to 3. All right, now let me show you another method. The second method, I would like to take this to the other side, leaving the square root of 39 minus x to the left. This is equal to 8 minus the square root of 7 minus x. Now we are going to square both sides. You square this, you square the whole of this. All right. If you square the left-hand side, the outermost square root will go, leaving only 39 minus x. And this is equal to, this is binomial. The first term squared, 8 squared is uh, 64. And um, minus 2 times this is 16 multiplied by the square root of 7 minus x. Then plus this squared is going to give us just 7 minus x. So we have expanded the left and the right hand sides. Let, let us collect the like terms. So from the left to the right hand side, if you add axis, this and this will cancel. Right? I would like to take the whole of this to the left, which is going to transform into positive 16 times the square root of 7 minus x. Then this is equal to what is 64 plus 7? That is going to give us uh, 71. 
and as this crosses over it becomes negative so we have 71 minus 39 and what is 79 minus 39 that is going to give us exactly 32 all right so we have a square root of 7 minus x equal to 32 divide by 16 i divided directly by 16 and this is going to give us 2 right and um, you can square both sides from here square these square these to the left hand side you have 7 minus x to the right hand side this is going to give us 2 and 2 squared is 4 all right therefore x is equal to 7 minus 4 and 7 minus 4 is equal to 3 the same answer but wait Will 3 satisfy the main equation? Let's test. We have square root of 39 minus 3 plus 7 minus 3 also here. Is this equals 8? Let's confirm. This is going to give us 36 and square root of 36 is 6 plus. This is going to give us 4 and square root of 4 is 2. Is this equal to 8? Yes, indeed. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8.